here's the uh, USP PDU Pro. So let's crack this open. This guy is actually pretty hard to get a hold of. Once it becomes in stock, you kind of have to pick one up. Otherwise, they'll probably go out of stock for a while. So if these ever come in stock, make sure to grab one. They're currently still in stock from last time I checked. Obviously, it might be different when this video actually comes out. But let's go ahead and crack it open. There's not much on the back. Uh, it just gives you a description of what it is and kind of the information that it has. So let's go and pull the tab off. This is a slightly different box design than their uh, newer stuff. It's kind of a more of a cardboard color instead of the uh, normal um, kind of that beige, I guess you could say, for their new newer boxes. Let's go ahead and crack this open. Now this will be going in my rack. I'm kind of doing a slower but uh, upgrade on my network rack. I'm gonna get those uh, OCD panels to clean everything up. Got some wing tips, rackier tips. Uh, these are to you. Keep that in mind. Here we got on this other side. This is going to be the cage nuts. Got that. Um, it's going to be a little scan to get started for the manual. Here is the actual device. All right. Well, let me. I'm going to take off the screen real quick. Get it out of the package. there it is so this guy is actually not that big at least on the side comparison this is probably I'm gonna say four four or five inches give or take and how many ports we got we got a total of 20 ports including the ones down here they are numbered because you can assign profiles for them so in case the uh, internet goes out it can trigger a like a power cycle reset to make see if the internet will come back up. It's also got a two, I believe, yeah, this one's for the internet. This one is just for a local connection. So, you got a reset hole and a, a little, like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's almost like a, uh, a magnet looking look so that maybe that's for the surge reset most likely and it looks like it's got another port on the back for an isp config or isp connection so let me go ahead and switch the camera over to the rack i am going to get the ears mounted on this real quick and then we'll jump back over i'll do a little time lapse uh getting the ears connected real quick give me a second So I got my existing PDU here and then a uh, UPS that's a uh, lithium ion APC. I'm going to be dropping these few down, um, removing this one and being used uh, elsewhere. And then we'll get this uh, PDU Pro installed and I'll do a little time lapse for you guys.
Okay, I got the device adopted and updated. It took a little bit for it to get up to date. It was on version six. Uh, you'll see in the other section if you want to see, but it needed a full revision. It took a bit, but let's see here. So what's really nice about this, it'll give you the total uh, power utilization. Um, so it is a 15 amp plug. It is not a 20 amp. 20 amp is with the little sidebar. And for the high uh, density, that is a 30 amp plug. So just be aware of that, a twist lock. So got that there. So what's handy about this is under the outlets page, it'll actually give you an individualized view of per outlet basis of how much power is being drawn, which is really nice if you're trying to give an estimate of, uh, for example, a battery backup that you need or something of that nature. For example, I'm actually pretty impressed by this on outlet 20 here. This is actually a, um, the UNAS Pro. And so that's actually, I'm surprised it's only taking rounded up uh, 34 watts of power for it actually to function just on a standby. And it actually is doing a backup right now of my computer. So backup and writing data and all that, only 34 watts, it's impressive. Um, on outlet 19, I have a, um, that is the Edge Max Pro, or sorry, Edge Max 4. On outlet 18, this is a Gen 1 16 port, uh, 150 watt switch. And that's just drawing around 27 watts. And, you know, you got the others. This one is a, uh, surprisingly, this guy is my uh, U7 Pro XGS. It's almost taking up half of actually almost, yeah, a little bit, a little bit at half amount of power as my switch. And this is just the AP I have to have to put in an injector for it as this is takes BT power. So POE plus plus and yeah, no, it's uh, drawn 15 Watts there. And what's handy is if you connect your internet. So if you need to do like a gateway refresh or restart the modem, you will need a UDM pro or something equivalent or a gateway device in order to see that it's offline. It can't do it with any like device or what's giving it DHCP, for example, like the edge max four that I have currently. So just be aware of that. If you plan to do that for power cycling devices, it does need that. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward, um, extremely handy to see a per port basis for power, um, statistics, um, it does have a CPU memory, memory always kind of stays around higher for any unified device. Um, it can sync the settings between all the devices, uh, SNMP, which is for, um, uh, like web hooks and things like that. Uh, static IP, etc. moving all the standard stuff that it has. Um, but yeah, no, there you go. If you would like to hire us, uh, you can reach out on our website at mbnisp.net. We'd be happy to assist you. All right, guys, have a good one. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow for more.